Let's go back. I mean, I want to go back to your to your tough finale fight. Um, obviously, you came in with a lot of emotion, you know, and, and, and things didn't go your way. When you look back on it now, what, what, what's your thought about your performance in the fight itself? I was actually quite disappointed um, in the first two rounds. You know, third round I brought it, and that was like the real the real me coming out. Um, it, you know, the first two rounds were kind of a blur to me, and I got I got backstage and I said, "What did you say to me in round before round three to make me go out and fight like that?" They told me I had to knock her out. <laughs> I'm like, well, tell me that from round one next time. <laughs> so, yeah, I was a little disappointed in my slow start. Um, it was kind of like a mental block, you know, self-sabotaging myself. So, I definitely, this camp, I've worked on a lot of uh, getting over that um, mental block and just going out from the get-go and bringing back, you know, what got me to the UFC to begin with. And that's letting my hands go and just being aggressive. So, that's my aim on Sunday night, or Sunday morning, sorry, to, to bring it. I wanted to, I mean, um, obviously the emotion that you did bring to it. I mean, when you look back on it, did that maybe play a factor at all too? That like maybe, do you wish you would have handled yourself any differently or had a different mindset? Not at all. I don't feel like, you know, I've had slow starts in my three previous fights. So when I'm walking out to the cage, the the drama or, you know, the bad blood, it doesn't enter my mind. You know, I'm there to do my job um, and that's to finish my opponent. Uh, so it's definitely just been a mental block that I've had for my previous, you know, three or four fights where I've just, I couldn't just put it together for the first round, so um, I don't think, you know, my antics out of the cage really had anything to do with my performance in the cage. It's just some of these things that, that happen sometimes, and I've, you know, I've worked through it, so I'm excited. You've had a big uh, online social media presence. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I see a, a lot of love and then a lot of hate as well. Mm -hmm. What's what your take? I mean, do you enjoy that? Do you kind of want to stay away from it? What's your take of all the, you know, the kind of the hate, but the love as well? Um, you know, they're talking about me. But they they love to hate. <laughs> uh, they don't realize that uh, the more attention they give to me, whether it's good or bad, it's, it's good for me. Uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity, you know, so I, I embrace it. You know, I get on, on social media and I have fun on there and I'm, I just be myself and, and speak my opinion. Sometimes people don't like the truth. <laughs> Sometimes people don't like the truth coming from women. I think that's the problem. So they don't, they don't expect me to be so brash and, and uh, truthful, I guess. So I don't mind. You know, you're going to get hate regardless. So yeah, I might as well go out there and have fun with it and cop hate anyway. Nice. How does this feel? Does it feel any different? Um, obviously fighting in Australia, is, I imagine it's got to be a great thing, but you know, people always do talk about octagon jitters and no matter how prepared they think they are, they you know they aren't. So mm -hmm. does this feel different? It doesn't. The only thing different is I'm used to flying to the States to fight. This time I've flown home to fight. So that's the only thing different. But you know, once I'm here doing the media and uh, making weight, you know, I'm in fight mode. I'm ready to go. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be on a local show in Brisbane, you know, local show in Tasmania where I started, it doesn't matter. There's the same goal as the opponent across for me, I have to finish. So, yeah, it doesn't really get to me. Talk about the matchup itself stylistically. How do you think you match up? Uh, I think it's a really good matchup. Me and Lisa trained together on The Ultimate Fighter. We're on the same team. Um, I know quite a lot about her. Uh, I feel like this this matchup is like she's a tough fighter. She's, you know, she's fought the who's who of uh, the strawweight division. Um, but I feel like she's just she's not the same fighter she used to be. Like, I feel like kids make you or break you, and I feel like her her young child, you know, she's just just had a kid. Um, she's not quite mentally there, and I feel like that's where I, I have the edge. Is because I'm going in there with you know with like I said malice. You know, I want to finish my phone. I want to make a statement. So um, I definitely feel like I have the mental edge, and I have eight weeks of an amazing camp under me. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited to go out there and just prove, you know, my, show everyone my potential, how how good I really am.